Andy, I'm a total poker newbie. So what advice would you give a brand new player? Don't play. No. <laughs> <laughs> Run away? What? No, no, no. You, 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 I mean, you start off, you play really low, and you can play with your friends, you can play online for play money or really, really low buy-in mm -hmm. events, and really learn and get a lot of practice. And you want to do that before you ever step foot inside a casino and play there, because those people have all had a lot of experience, and you don't want to be fumbling with your chips. You want to know how to look at your cards and all of that, get all the mechanics um, down so that you can concentrate on the game of poker itself. Okay, great. How should I be looking at my cards during a tournament? Okay. And if during, I don't want to, like, I don't want to give off on my new player. What I do is I use my both my hands, uh -huh, right? Okay. And I bend I bend up my cards with my, my, my thumb and forefinger like uh -huh. that. But Got you don't it. want to bend it too hard because then it leaves marks in the mm -hmm. cards. So you, but you definitely use both hands so mm -hmm. you can uh, make sure the people players to either side. And it's not like I think people are looking. I just, for myself, I just want to have feel confident. Yeah, you want to be I, As one that. less thing I have to think about, uh -huh. whether my opponent um, sitting next to me can see my cards. I don't have to think about that at all, because mm -hmm. I can just go like that. Awesome, that's a so, great tip. What's great the tip. most common mistake that you see most new players make? They play too many hands. That's the most common thing. And then the next common thing is they play too few hands. Mm -hmm. it's, like, it's like at first they like just want to play everything and see what happens, mm -hmm. and then they learn they need to fold and they play way too few hands and they get afraid. So you got to find that, that happy medium, and um, a lot of that is also based on position. So okay. you got to play a lot more hands when you're on the button uh -huh. than when you're under the gun. Gotcha. Okay, cool. And do you recommend to utilize anything like books or getting a mentor to learn? or? If you have uh, some friends that are experienced poker players, or even that are just learning and that the two of you can learn together, that's a great way of doing it. Mm -hmm. Of course, there are a lot of great books out there. I mean, i got to recommend the Full Tilt Poker Strategy Guide because I co-wrote a chapter uh -huh. and a half of it. Uh, so I will definitely so, check it out. Okay. And, and I have some advice on starting hands in there that's very good for beginners okay. so that you don't have to go and figure that all out yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, getting a lot of experience, seeing a lot of hands online for just, even just play money, even though it's not quite the same mm -hmm. as regular poker, you get to see a lot of situations and you can learn from that. Because uh, poker, you know, there's, there are a lot of common situations that come up all the time. And you got to be really good at those. And then there's a lot of strange situations mm -hmm. that don't come up very often. So you got to play a lot to see those situations so you're already thinking about it. Gotcha. When you, you don't want to be facing a big play, mm -hmm. a, a big bet, and not really know what, what's happening. And you want to have the experience and say, well, I know not just what's happening on this street, but what's going to happen on the turn and the river if I call a race. And that's the important thing having that experience. Awesome. Well, thank you for sitting down with us. And also, if you guys want to learn more information about how I apply Andy's advice, visit PokerBrit.com.